pillow. Well, it's just gotten dark. And uh, I'm sitting in the just about the darkest place. Um, so I'm here on the farm, you know, free of artificial light. And that is my closet. So that's you guys it. Know me, you might be unsurprised to find that uh, there's t-shirts and shorts. More t-shirts, more shorts, t-shirts, shorts, shorts, and some t-shirts, and that's it. Oh, I'd say zero tuxedos. Uh, sitting here by uh, candlelight. No, uh, sort of just walk looking at the candle so closely I can't really tell how it comes out on the screen but sitting here with uh, some offerings and uh, the candle you can see the little hatch we just built to access the pipes in the walls perhaps and there's me in fact a little hatch I made a little a little uh, runner for the door I guess I should show you what I'm talking about I made a little Runner for the door. There's our pipes. And uh, somebody used that runner to actually just set the phone on to record. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's pretty nice. Not too bad. So it's Deep Valley. celebration of light with a candle lit taking the suggestion of the holiday to contemplate light of course uh, the usual Hindu way of considering it is uh, a celebration of light overcoming dark I don't think light overcomes dark. I mean, it's sundown. So, at sunrise, we might have thought light overcame dark, but really just rearranged where the darkness is. The lightness casts shadows where there weren't. And if we have light here, then we might imagine that that darkness has just been Rearranged, reorganized, displaced, placed elsewhere, shunted, but overcome. I really sort of suggest that the light is forever, but this candle will burn out, our sun will burn out, the day will come to its end. I don't think of the light as overcoming the dark. So I'm gonna just do a little candle meditation. This is a pretty difficult meditation to do, I think, for most. And that is, uh, I'm gonna look at the candle. Uh, I don't know if there's a good way to sort of have you see me seeing the candle in the same frame. I guess I could try. I think you may be stuck just sort of seeing me. Just the, the particular setup that I have. Yeah, so there's the candle. And there's, yeah, the candle's uh, on the floor. I don't really think that I lean it up here against my... against my luggage. Nice to include your baggage in your meditation. I don't know if that'll, probably once I sit up, you, you'll just see my chest, but it is what it is. Let's just see what we got. Hmm. 
see that? Kind of, sort of, kind of worked. So the the practice is uh, to look at the flame and come into contemplation about the flame. There's a whole lot to do there. It's a very, very common meditation. But I'll necessarily blink. When I blink, there is no light. We could say no light, although it's probably technically less light. But there's a relative darkness. Just like I'm in this closet, which of course is only relatively dark, even with the candle out. But when I blink, I'm in my darkness, probably very briefly. And so while I'm contemplating the light, letting that contemplation go where it may, leading that contemplation where it may, involved in that contemplation as I may be, when I blink, I'm going to come into a delicate, temporary, full awareness of the darkness. There's no longer contemplation in the moment of the blinking. So it's tough because this meditation uh, is very brief. It may come unexpectedly and you can't really settle into it. You're doing another thing and when you blink you kind of come into this awareness of darkness. So I'm beginning to recognize the overall relationship of the light and dark as I cycle through the blinking and contemplation. So I'm accessing my mind during the contemplation and then not, at least in the same way. There we go. So you have a couple of moments to <coughs> see the camera again. We'll just, uh, I don't know if it'll just wash out or not. What the, uh, whatever the exposure, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. that meditation so I hope you were able to kind of follow that I don't know if I explained how that went but thank you very much